Hello everyone! So as I've nearly been on YouTube a whole year, how has it been a year? For this video I thought that I would answer some questions so that you can get to know me a little bit more as from my channel you probably don't know the most about me. So today I'll be giving you all of the answers. I am just going to point out obviously I did do the get to know me tag. I can't even remember. <laughs> as my first video but I think these questions are a little bit different so if you wanted to know some more things about me then this is the right video for you. What was your favourite food when you were a child? I quite like lots of foods. Can I say chocolate? Is chocolate allowed? Because it would be chocolate I think. <laughs> what is the number one most played song on your iPod phone? I think off the top of my head I'm pretty sure it's Sleeping In by All Time Low. What is one of your favourite quotes? So I love Harry Potter and one of my favourite quotes from, comes from there, it's when in doubt go to the library because why not? A book solves everything. What is your favourite indoor slash outdoor activity? Well I don't go outside so indoor it would have to be sleeping, eating, reading, doing absolutely nothing. I think they're my favourite activities. What chore do you absolutely hate doing? Drying up. Hands down, drying up. What is your favourite form of exercise? Exercise. Well, if I had to pick, it would probably be dance, although I am rubbish, is it? What is your favourite time of day, day of the week, month of the year? So time of day, bedtime, <laughs> my favourite time of day. Day of the week, Saturday evening, because it means I get Sunday off. And month of the year, June, obviously, because it's my birthday month. I mean, all the best people are born in June. What is your least favourite mode of transportation? So this depends on the context, I think. If I was going on holiday, probably a boat, because I mean, the sea kind of scares me. Actually, no, Titanic scared me. Because <laughs> I don't want to go on a boat and it sink. I have been on a boat though before. But kind of your everyday transportation, probably the bus, public transport. The bus is, in my area anyway, not the most pleasant. What is your favourite body part? Not a question I thought I'd be answering today. Probably my hair. Can you see your hair? Oh, it's a body part. Hair. <laughs> what sound do you love? Book pages being turned. I like that sound. If you could throw a party, what would it be like and what would it be for? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That's my answer to that. I just wouldn't. I am rather boring, let's say. If you could paint a picture of any scenery you've seen before, what would you paint? So when I went to Disney, I was probably, say probably, I definitely was, I was 12 and it's just completely ingrained in my head, the picture of the Disney castle, so probably that, I think I'd paint that. If you could choose to stay a certain age forever, what age would it be and why? Probably my age now, so 20, because I think you're taken more seriously as a 20 year old, but I don't want to get older. <laughs> That's, that's my philosophy behind it anyway. If you knew the world was ending in 2012, what would you do differently? Well, I was 11, so probably not a lot. Probably would have read more, watched Harry Potter over and over again. Probably would have binge watched all those CBC programmes, Young Dracula, Wolfbud, iconic. Let's go with that. Maybe eat some more chocolate. We'll say that. If you could choose anyone, who would you pick as your mentor? So, I think... IRL, M. Watson, I think she's incredible and she's, um, she's just amazing. I think she'd be an amazing mentor. <laughs> Fictional. You know what, I pick Hamish from The Hunger Games. He kept Katniss and Peter alive twice in The Hunger Games, so he'd probably be quite good, you know. If you could learn to do anything, what would it be? I think I would really, really like to be fluent in another language. I did Spanish GCSE and looking back on it now, when I was 16, I I picked it because I thought it would be a good idea to do another language however four years on you know four and a half years on I don't remember any of it really so I think I would like to learn another language and actually be fluent in it I think that would be cool or I've just read the question wrong I think learn to do if not piano I would really like to be able to play the piano well I can play the piano but only the things that I know how to play so if you were give it, to give me a sheet of music I would I'd be like, yeah, I can't remember that. <laughs> I don't know how to play that. If you could only work on one project for the next year, what would it be? I don't know, something either kind of in literature or something 
in media performance and entertainment I think either one of those or both together something in those areas if you could meet anybody living or dead who would it be like anyone I'd quite like to meet the Queen. If you won the lottery, what is the first thing you would do? I know exactly what I would do. And that is book a holiday. Specifically, book a holiday to the Maldives. That is what I would do. If you were reincarnated as an animal drink or ice cream flavour, what would it be? So animal, dog. I think I'd be a dog. Drink, either pink gin or water. Because I'm bland. I like water. No water hate here and ice cream flavour, mint chocolate chip. If you could know the answer to any question other than what is the meaning of life, what would it be? How do I parallel park? If you could be any fictional character, who would you choose? Hermione Granger, or we'll, we'll pretend I didn't talk about Harry Potter too much. So yeah, either Hermione Granger or September in The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in the Ship of Her Own Making. Such a long book title, <laughs> but she's so cool. September is amazing. What do you want to be when you grow up? A chocolate connoisseur. Well, <laughs> well, hopefully in the entertainment business. When you have 30 minutes of free time, how do you pass the time? Sometimes I just sit on my phone, sometimes I read, sometimes I don't do a lot. I'm quite good at not doing much, so either one of those. What would you name the autobiography of your life? <laughs> Reasons why Sosa fail. What songs are included on the soundtrack of your life? Can film soundtracks, so instrumental pieces, a bit of Inaudi, I think that would be in on my life soundtrack. Also, probably a bit of Five Seconds of Summer, a bit of Taylor Swift, Queen, maybe a little bit of Florence and the Machine, a bit of All Time Low, might as well a bit of My Chemical Romance, put that in there. Yeah, a mishmash of everything. Have you ever had something bad happen to you that you thought was bad, but then turned out to be for the best? Yes, no elaboration there. What was the last movie, TV show or book that made you cry or tear up? And The Death Cure, I have just finished that. And oh my God, every time, if you know, if you know. <laughs> what is the hardest thing you've ever done? Drop out of sixth form. I think for me, that was really hard. To, it was almost like I was admitting defeat in my own head. So for me, that was really hard. What did you do growing up that got you into a lot of trouble? Um, eating chocolate when I wasn't supposed to. That was my general thing. When was the last time you had an amazing meal? You know what? My mum's homemade pizza that we have every Wednesday. That's amazing. <laughs> it's so good. And my dad's fajitas. Those two, you can't beat them. Oh, and I had pizza last a week ago and fajitas a week and a half ago. What is the best slash worst gift you've ever given? or received? I don't know, I, I can't say anything specific, but I am very good at giving people random things. So I go sometimes a little bit overboard at Christmas and as some people may have worked out by now, you sometimes get the drapes and drags of things that I can't actually remember who I bought for. So that is probably the worst thing I give people. And then given, I don't know, I don't like to say because I always appreciate everything. Probably any clothes, that made me look like a box. What do you miss the most about being a kid? <laughs> the fact I had no responsibilities. That's what I miss. And seeing my friends like every day. What was the first thing you bought with your own money? I don't know, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you the last thing I spent my money on though, which was a car service. And just adult things. When was the last time you were nervous? Last week. What is something you've learnt in this last week? Um. Well, when I was at college on Monday, I did a bit of a tutorial on, but well, I didn't personally do it, I was the student. <laughs> My teacher did a tutorial for balayage, so that's what I learned this week. What story does your family always tell about you? My mum always likes to tell the story of when I was younger, I asked if I could have some chocolate that was in the fruit bowl, I think it was in the fruit bowl, and my mum said, no, you can have it after dinner, I think, or after lunch, one of them. I just ran off with it, went and hid under my covers, ate it and my mum was like, where's Sophie gone? She's awfully quiet. Came and found me and of course I'd scoffed chocolate and had it all over me. At what age did I become an adult? Technically on paper 18, however, I do not feel like an adult yet. I still feel like a teenager, so. Where's Waldo? In the bin. The best part of waking up is 
going back to bed at the end of the day. <laughs> Sometimes I like to enjoy doing things, like seeing my friends, eating and reading, but is it worth waking up for? How now, brown cow? The only thing I think of when I hear that is, is it people trying to sing in a Scottish accent? Who knew brown cow? That was really bad. I'm so sorry. What's up? Still to this day, I don't really know how to respond to that. <laughs> if someone came up and said that to me, I'd be like, hello. There we have it. There are some more answers to questions that you may not have known before. And well, some of them were a bit deep, but you know the answer to them now. So if you enjoyed this, then please give it a thumbs up. If you thought that this was interesting, maybe I will do another video like this. Don't forget to subscribe and my Twitter and Instagram are linked below if you'd like to follow and I will see you next time. Bye. What was the last film? <laughs> what is your favourite indoor slash outdoor activity? Have you ever had something bad to you? I can't talk today.